Hey YouTube fam, welcome to class, welcome to your practice. My name is Rain and I'll be here to guide you through your practice for today. So this is a request from my broadcast channel on my Instagram. If you feel like this is something that you want to do, this is something that you like, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, let me know how your practice will go. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and start. This is your morning yoga flow and a glow. Start, slowly start in your child's pose for a moment. Option hip with the sins. I like to start myself in a wide stance. Big toes come to touch. Land your hips on your heels and then slowly reach your hands forward and allow the forehead or the chin to drop down. Allow the heart to somehow connect towards your beautiful sacred space. Take a few moments to dive into the breath. Notice how you take your inhales and your exhales here. Breathing in and breathing out, creating some intentions for today's practice. Since you are doing this, assumingly at the start of your day, notice what is something that you want to bring out so that this energy that you will be cultivating is something that can guide you towards all of the things that you'll be doing during the day. Soften the face, relax the shoulders. Bring this intention towards the heart, towards the mind. Once you're ready, look forward. Let's go find some stretches for a moment. Swing your hands to the right. Left hand reaches farther, allowing the left side body to open. Soften the forehead, soften the neck. We're here for five, four, three, two, and one. Coming back center. Let's try this on the opposite side. Just knowing which one is a little bit more tight or more open, yeah? Soften the hips down. Notice how the body somehow releases this energy. If there's anything tight, this is the moment to see and notice them now. Last one here. And then release. Come back, center, plant your hands forward. Let's go towards your tabletop. Tapping the knees, hip with the sins apart. Option to tuck the toes or untuck, see what feels good. Turn out the hands if the shoulders are a little bit tight today, as if the pointy fingers are pointing to the top of your mat. Let's go find your cat and cow, yeah? Inhale, take your uh, belly down as your tailbone tips upward. Shoulders going towards your hips as you look forward, your gaze above the horizon. And then as you exhale, tuck the tailbone down. Pulling the belly to the sky, widening the shoulder blades away from each other. Chin presses to chest. One more round, just like that. Breathing in, tailbone up, belly down. Open your heart, gaze above. Exhale, round the back to your cat. Pull the belly in. One more round, breathing in. This time, let's find some barrel rolls. Take your right shoulder to the right hip, opening the left side body, and then finding your cat. Tuck the tailbone in. Other way around, left shoulder, left hip, open the right side, and then find your cow. Other way around, left shoulder, left hip, find your cat, tuck the tailbone, right shoulder, right hip, and then find your cow. Very nice. Come back, center on your neutral spine, swing the hips side to side, making sure nothing is painful. Let's go and find a quick puppy pose, reaching your hands forward. Allowing the forehead or the chin to drop down. Take your heart again towards your mindful space. Notice if you can surrender here more. Pulling the belly down to the ground. Allowing the inner thighs to roll towards the back of the room. We're here for three, two, and one. Let's roll forward to your sphinx as low as you can go. Dropping your thighs, your hips. Slowly bending on the elbows, grounding it towards the mat into your sphinx pose, yes? Take both of your feet wider than the hips, yes? Take your hands wider as well, but elbows a little bit more narrow than the shoulders. You want to somehow grind the elbows towards your belly button as you squeeze your shoulder blades towards each other, opening the heart. If you want some more activation here on all of your back, See if you can lift your knees away from the floor, but all of your legs are still down and the tops of your feet are grounding onto the mat. The pinky toes are also on the mat. We're here for four, three, two, 
and one release the activation elbows onto the side let's open your heart for a moment and your shoulders as well left hand to a t or to a cactus see what feels good take both of your legs together we're going to open your heart to the right side relaxing the head and the neck here you can find a block underneath your head if this is too much yes what i like to do here if i needed some more i'm going to bend the top leg snap it at the back yeah and this is what I want to do if you want to go deeper. So I want to lift my hips a little, shift it forward, and then drop it down. See if that is an option for you today. Since this is the morning, your body might be a little bit more tight. So we're not going to go further than this. Inhale for five, four, three, two, and one. Come back, center. Let's try this on the opposite side. Right hand to a T or to a cactus. See how it feels good? Opening your heart to the left side, stepping that top leg, top foot to the back, dropping the head, soften the neck. If you want some more, again, lift the hips, shift it forward, and then notice how that feels in the front right shoulder. Stay here for four, three, two and one awesome slowly coming back center coming back here take your hands either beside the chest or maybe outside on spider fingers yes take your feet again wide roll the shoulders down and back open your heart here to the sky and an exhale fold down drop the forehead down let's do the one more round roll the shoulders up open the heart Exhale, release. One last round. Roll the shoulders down and back. Lift your heart up. Exhale, super slow. Fold all the way down. Relax. Take your hands beside the chest. Turn out the hands. So taking your uh, elbows over to your ribs. Tuck the toes here towards the back. Hip width distance. Lift your heart. Let's go to your first downward facing dog of the day. Bending the knees one by one. Maybe swinging the hips side to side. Say hello to your legs. Say hello to your hips. See if you can activate the core if that's what you need for this morning. Lifting your hips up, elevating your shoulders. Let's stay for five, four, three, two, and one. Left leg reach a sky. Find your three like a dog. And then slowly, see if you want to bend that left knee, pointing to the sky, opening your hip to the left side. And then see if you can make circles on your left knee, left leg, clockwise. And then counterclockwise, opening your hips here, but keeping strength on your arms, your hands. And then slowly, once you're ready, gaze forward, lift the right heel. See if you want to step the left foot on the outside of your left hand, the right knee grounds down. Spider fingers on your hands, or maybe find some blocks. Unsuck the back toes if you want. Option to swing side to side here, coming into your lizard lunge, yes? Soften the shoulders away from the ears, slight bend on the elbows. Plant your hands if you want to go deeper, or even your forearms if you have that opening at this part of your day. We're here for four, three, two, and one very nice coming back to your hands if you went down just like what i did left hand will reach up sky as you take an inhale now we're going to open your heart to the left knee and see if you can reach that left hand to the back guided by your left hand reaching back stay here for the twist or if you want some more you're going to bend into the right knee see if you want to take that right heel to the right glute right thumb we're here for three two and one coming back center planting your left hand down lifting the right knee stepping the left foot beside the right foot to your first plank of the day pressing on all of your hands to the ground slight tuck on the tailbone core engage stay for one more inhale here 
On your exhale, let's go back. Knees drop down, heart, hip, belly, all the way down to the ground. Unsock the toes, roll the shoulders down and back again. Option to find low cobra or maybe higher. If you want some more, you're gonna go towards your upward facing dog, lifting the hips and the knees. Strong press on the tops of your feet. And then as you exhale, take your chin to your chest as you lift yourself back up to your downward facing dog. One more round, bending the knees one by one. Swinging the hips side to side, waking up the body, starting your day, right? Let's do everything on the opposite side, shall we? Right leg lifts as you take an inhale. And then bending that knee, open it, the hip to the right side, clockwise on your legs or counterclockwise if you want to start that. Breathing in through the nose, firm press on all of your hands, breathing out. Once you're ready, let's go towards the front. This time, lift the left heel, step the right foot beside the right hand. Left knee grounds down, untuck the back toes or keep it tucked, spider fingers. Slight bend on the elbows, open your heart forward. You can even find movement here by swinging the hips side to side. Or go plant your hands or even your forearms here. Again, you find your props if you feel you need support. I will go further than what we're doing here right now. Stay for four, three, two, and one. Awesome. Plant your hands if you went with the forearms. Shift your weight to your left hand as your right hand reaches up. Opening up to a slight twist onto the right side. Right hand reaches back. Yes. Option to stay. If you want something, we're going to bend the left knee just like what we did. Flex the left foot. Take your left heel to the left glute, left bum. Here for four, three, two, and one. Release, going back center, planting your hands, lifting your knee, sw uh, swiping that right foot beside the left to your second plank of the day. We're here for five, four, three, two and one option to meet you in your chaturanga as you exhale come into your upward facing dog or still a high cobra and then exhale back downward facing dog bending the knees one by one swinging the hips side to side yes on your next breath, we're going to go to the top of your mat. We're going to find your 10-step journey. Lift all of your heels up, keeping a nice extension on the leg. So keep your legs locked if it's possible. Now let's go baby step. One, two, three. Shifting your weight to your hands. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and 10 very nice once you're here so bend in the knees fold all the way down maybe taking your feet a little bit wider than usual maybe hands on opposite elbows to find your ragdoll swinging side to side allowing all of your upper body to relax here for a few moments stay for four three two last one and then slowly once you're ready plant your hands forward once more lift your heels and then see if you can bend your knees as you take your seat on your heels maybe coming into a balance to find your toes down yes firming the inner thigh stepping not just into of the big toes but also to the pinky toe so see if that's possible for today allowing the core to be here for you just stay for one more breath here then on your exhale see if you can reach your hands forward super slow we're gonna lean forward as you drop your heels down to the ground yes maybe we can drop your hips down to the ground Maybe you can lift your feet coming into your boat pose. Point or flex you, it feels good. You can even go in full if we're already having that nice warm energy, yes? Just one big breath here. And then exhale, cross the legs, come into your easy seat. Plant your hands onto the knees or maybe open the thighs and the glutes out wide already. Let's go find your side stretches. Reach your hands up and overhead. 
Exhale, right hand down to the ground, left hand reaches to the right. Come back, center, all the way around, left hand down, right hand reaches left. Come back up, very nice, reach your hands up. And then slowly bend the elbows, open your heart, gaze above. Very nice, wrap your arms forward, left arm on top, find your eagle arms. Elbows forward, fingertips to your sky, widen the shoulder blades away from each other. Let's stay for four, three, two, and one. Release, unravel once more, open your heart. And then wrap your arms forward, this time right arm on top. Elbows forward, fingertips to the sky. Stay for four, three, two, and one. Unravel, take your elbows to the back. This time, plant your hands to the back. Fingertips pointing forward. Now, step both of your feet hip with distance apart away. Take, uh, toes pointing to the front as well. Roll the shoulders up, back and down. Bend onto the elbows. Slight tuck on the tailbone and then slowly on your next breath, lift your hips, coming into a reverse tabletop. Maybe gaze above if the body invites. Firm the inner thighs here. Just one more breath. And an exhale release. Take your hips down to the ground. Extend both of your legs to the top of your mat. Yes. Bending one knee. I'm going to choose my right. If you want to choose your left, feel free to do that. Coming into your Janus Osasana. Point or flex the foot. As you take your inhale, reach your hands up and overhead. And then as you exhale, fold towards your left leg. Maybe hands can keep staying forward. If we are here touching the left foot, that's awesome too. Maybe find a bind at the bottom, yes? Inhale to lengthen. And exhale to fold. We're here for four. Three, two, and one. Looking forward, reaching your hands up and overhead. This time, let's go and take that right knee pointing to the sky, right foot steps, either beside the right bum, beside the inner left thigh, or come across that left leg. Left hand wraps in your right arm, right hand reaches back. Spider finger or plant your palm. Inhale to lengthen. And then exhale, open to a twist, gaze to the back or right shoulder, close your eyes. Stay for four, three, two, and one. Looking forward, releasing that bind. Let's go release that right foot if you did it across. Stepping the left foot again to the other right foot again to the inner left eye. Right hand will reach back. Let's go find your stargazer. You're going to slightly tuck the tailbone. Open the heart already, and then left hand will reach back. As you press your hips forward, maybe you can uh, squeeze your shoulder blades together as you lift your heart up to the sky. Yes, stay for four. Maybe gaze at the left thumb. Three, two, and one. Looking down first, and then slowly release. Plant your hands at the back, bending both of your knees, stepping the feet wide, maybe as wide as your mat, windshield wipers left and right. Awesome. Once you're ready, coming back center, as everything on the opposite side, right leg forward, left foot to stem on the inner right thigh, reach your hands up and overhead, and then slowly fold all the way down towards your right leg. Maybe find your bind or stay wherever it feels good. Yes, inhale to lengthen. And exhale, fold down. Stay for five, four, three, two, and one. Reach your hands up and overhead. Let's go grab that left leg, step the left foot again, find your option beside the bum, beside the inner right thigh, or come across the right leg. Right hand, right arm, wraps on your left leg, left hand reaches back. Inhale to lengthen, and then exhale, open up to a twist. Look at your left shoulder, close your eyes, see what feels good. Stay for four, three, two, and 
One, looking forward, releasing that bind. Let's go find your stargazer here. Left foot, inner right thigh, ground the left knee down. So open your heart, tuck the tailbone and slowly with the power of your hips, lift yourself up. Right hand reaches back, maybe squeeze the shoulders to open your heart to the sky. Gaze at the right thumb. Stay for four, three, two and one looking down release going back to the center bending both of your knees take it wide windshield wipers left and right yes breathing in through the nose breathing out through the mouth come back center step both of your feet together this time knees open to the side coming into your seated butterfly or your baddha konasana hands onto the ankles we're gonna wrap them on your toes roll the shoulders down and back lift your heart lift your crown and then exhale fold all the way down see what kind of variation you want for your fold today maybe elbows will come on the inner thighs maybe beside the knees or maybe towards the ground Inhale, lengthen, feel the spaces between each vertebrae. And then exhale, see if you can go deeper. Maybe head will come rest on the toes. Last one here. And then exhale, gaze forward, and then release. Very nice. Take both of your feet into an easy sitting pose once more. Coming back to the space that you started with at the center of your mat. Open the thighs and the glutes out wide, reaching your hands onto your knees. Or one hand to your heart, another to the belly. Close your eyes here for a few moments. And finding the rhythm of the breath that you have right now. Notice how it rises and falls. Notice how it comes in and out of the body, your tempo. Allowing this mindful breath to be the energizer that will push you towards every single thing that you want to do for today's practice. Let's do more of that, yes. Option to close your eyes here. Inhale through the nose. Out the mouth, let it go. Inhale. Exhale out the mouth. One more breathing in. This time close the mouth. Exhale through the nose. Inhale for three, two, one. Exhale for five, four, three, two, one. Inhale through the nose. Out the mouth, side out. Taking both of your hands in the prayer, guided towards your heart center, bowing down as if gazing into your own heart, allowing this energy that you have in your body, in your mind, in your heart to cultivate the most mindful day ahead. Namaste. Open your eyes and we are done. <laughs> Thank you so much for allowing me to guide you through your morning. I hope this went well for you. You can always keep on coming back to this um, class every single day if you feel like you need some space, some time to just breathe, to stretch your body, to really find that energy to boost you and motivate you towards moving, towards maybe like a long day, yes? Let me know how your practice went. Namaste, I'll see you in the next video.